Okay, here's a, another conform issue I found here is when I brought the XML, um, the footage is not lining up. So the start time of this is 38.23. And if you go to Premiere, you can see that the first frame of that is actually 31.22. So what happened here is because they wanted to sync audio to overcranked footage, if you reveal this clip in Project and go interpret footage, the frame rate has been reinterpreted to 36 frames per second because that's how much they overcranked in camera and they wanted to sync outboard audio to that overcranked footage, which is a freaking pain in the ass, but um, that's how you work around this in Premiere. So editorial had to change it to 36. So one way to suss out all these clips, because it's not immediately obvious, and that's why the conform didn't work in Resolve, because that reinterpretation of the frame rate does not get carried through in XML. So Resolve doesn't even know. Um, in fact, I had trouble even conforming it because it was like, what the hell time code is that? It just not, doesn't even exist it's because it's assuming the time code is 2398 time code. But in Premiere, you can see the time code is actually, you know, it goes past 20, it goes past 29, and it's semicolon. So that shows you that it's non standard frame rate. So the first thing you need to do is to suss out every clip. It's not obvious which one has been reinterpreted unless the editor marked it ahead of time. So one way to do that is to Command F, go find in timeline, search for frame rate that does not contain 23976. And then you go find all. And then those clips are highlighted in the timeline. Anything that's not 23976, um, Get selected. So, so that I believe will search based on the actual reinterpreted frame rate. So even though the the file on disk is 2398, that find feature was working off of however the frame rate is presented to the timeline. So 36 frames per second. So that's one quick way of labeling these oddball frame rates. That makes it easier to go back into Resolve and right click on this clip and then go clip attributes. Uh, over here and in here you can actually change the frame rate to custom 36 and theoretically it lines up again unfortunately this is the it's kind of a brute force method but there's no real way other way to do it if you're going to reinterpret frame rates in premiere so uh, at least this lets you easily mark the clips that you need to pay special attention to when you do that same deal and resolve.